are out. We are underway. What a start from Noguchi. He has flown away from the start line. And he te takes a huge lead into the first corner. Gosh, I've, I've seen some good starts, but very few as good as that. that We're on board with Kazma Daniel. Yeah, that was perfect, Des. And, uh, yeah, right on uh, with Kazma Daniel, just behind Zakwan Zaidi, who also got away really well. Be good to see Zakwan defending his championship. He will have that in mind because they start this race with Haruki Noguchi just four points behind him. Kazma had another wheelie uh, on, the, on the start line. He's, he's making a little bit of a habit of doing that now, Kazma. Yeah, he's got some time to make up, but uh, well, he's currently in third place. He's going to challenge Zakwan now. Noguchi is up to an absolute fly as Kazma has a look on the inside of Zakwan Zaidi. Can't squeeze it through there. Behind them, well, the wildcard guys of Rei Tashima and Kaisuke Maeda are there. All of the, um, the Yamahas. Decent finishes there, they are. Speak of the devil, and well, there's one of them anyway. Let's have a look at the start once again, Barry, and uh, Kazma Daniel in the middle of the screen. Yeah, they contrasted, didn't they, with uh, Noguchi start? Somewhat boing, boing, boing. Yeah, popped the wheel up and bounced it down about four times. So that won't have helped him off the line. He is in third place, but he's got some time to make up now. And the race leader, the early race leader, Haruki Noguchi, is getting away. And it was quite some lead. It's nearly a second in the first lap. Behind them, Apiwat has got himself up into P4, so that's OK. Anupav in P5. So uh, I was looking at how serious in particular, I saw Api Wangtan, I saw you fist pump him, but he, he, he didn't smile, which is very unlike him. No, he wouldn't, but he he, he knows, we do, we do that. He's very focused before the race, he won't talk, but he does he does enjoy the uh, the encouragement. Well, he's there in the group there, in P4, uh, five and six. Kazma Daniel is still on the tail of Sackwell's side, and again, Kazma has a look on the inside, and this time Kazma is able to hold it, and the two Yamahas are closing in behind them. Reita Shima and Kutsuki Akiyoshi are behind them in six and seven, but I like those two. They, they are like peas in the pot, Anupar uh, and Apiwat. They go together. Yeah, they are going together, and they've got Zakwan Zaidi in their sights currently. Who went wide? Was that Zakwan going wide? It was. Yeah, and Apiwat didn't need a second invitation. He is through into third. So Apiwat Montana into P3. Zakwan, who in it gave you a very good interview beforehand. I've just got to stick close with the leaders, was what he said, but he's not sticking close because Haruki Noguchi has flown into a second and a half lead after just two laps. Yeah, he's got his work to do, unless something goes wrong with uh, Noguchi's machine at, at the front. He won't fit, Sakwan won't finish this race as the championship leader. Kazma Daniel in P2. One and a half seconds down. Apiwat four tenths down on him. And Zakwan pretty close, so it's a four-man train. The best of the wild cards is uh, Kosuke Akiyoshi, because Reita Shima has uh, lost a place there. Is the impressive lead. There is the impressive sight of Asma Daniel chasing uh, a distant uh, Haruki Noguchi. That was almost a discouraging view from the camera there. How do you catch up with that? Well, there is time left. There is time. These conditions are, as uh, more than one of those riders said, they are variable. It is pretty windy out there. It's not impossible that you could get a sprinkle of rain again. I felt a uh, drop of rain on my hand as I was talking to Haruki, actually. I think we've discovered how quickly the rain can come in here, so Haruki Noguchi is deciding he's going to try to beat the weather. He's in P1 at the moment, flies through the chicane, superb style. Leads Kazma Daniel up the brow of the hill, up over the top of the hill, and over the start finish line for the third time. Kazma Daniel ahead of Apiwat Bangtan and Zakwan Anupab, Akeyoshi, Rei Tashima. Adam Noradin has got him. Ooh, Adam Noradin dropped down. Yuki Ito and Gary Salem's made some progress. But the BMWs are struggling, and that is one of the wild cards. It's Otajiro. So Otajiro, there's two of them, actually. Two of them, yep. Two wild cards down. And that will be a, a stop in 
I'm almost certainly going to stop the race. Oh, yellow flag at the very yeah, least. Yeah, the red flag's yeah, out. Yeah, red flag. Not surprised. And There's a rider pinned under one of the bikes there. That's inconvenient for Kazma because um, before it all went, to, we went to that crash. He was catching. Uh, he was starting to make a dent in Hirokina Gucci's lead. Yeah, it's two of the wild cards, uh, Otajiro and uh, Shinichi, who came together. Otajiro looked like he was all right, but Shinichi was caught under his bike on the ground, so I'm hoping he's okay. And as soon as we can get a report, we'll, we'll get it out to the, the wider public, but we're reliant, obviously, on information from the ground. So a, a red flag, 15 laps to go. It shouldn't take too long to clear that up, provided that there was no nothing spilled. And I didn't see anything. Nice day in the mountains for these spectators. It is. I wouldn't trust just a T-shirt, though. I know it's warmish, but the, the chill can come in very quickly. Yeah. We're waiting for information on that incident. A red flag interruption on the first race of the ASB Superbikes 1000cc round in Sugo. We've had rain. We've had a thrilling exhibition in 150s. We had rain in the 250s. It is obviously coming in. It's um, clearly a potentially hazardous situation. Yeah, frustrating for the other riders. Well, frustrating for those that were doing well. Frustrating for Haruki. Frustrating for Kazma too, because Kazma was making an impression. <laughs> and there's the TVS squad. That's the. Uh, Consultant for the project there on the right, A. Warapong, still celebrating his uh, second place and extended championship lead. So Kasma Daniel maybe going in just to refreshen up. Zakon will be, I suspect, the most relieved of all of, of this break. Yes, he will. It wasn't going. Uh, it wasn't going so well for from him. So we are under red flag. An incident involving uh, two of the local racers, Sunuchi Nakatomi and Otajiro Tanimoto. And for obvious reasons, we're not focusing on the incident itself. For the race as well, they just get get on with things, and this boy has been top draw. Yeah, completely focused. He does just enough for the media. However, interestingly, uh, ice pack on that left shoulder, instantly there once again. Yeah, yeah, and there's another rider that will be frustrated at the stoppage. Happy what he was showing well. That focus you noticed on the grid, that was uh, that was serious. We know that those of us that know, have known him for a while, we know what that means. It means nothing will be left in the garage. Uh, well, the clearing off the debris, the yeah. lights are off, so I mean, relief on that is that they've been able to ferry the, the riders off to safety. Yeah, and it seems like there's nothing spilled there. Just a, just a couple of big gouge marks in the asphalt. That's the, uh, the Honda of Pasawit, Tisiwararak. He hasn't really found his way, he hasn't found the key, I should say, to this circuit yet. He's Working, he's putting the work in. hasn't quite uh, hasn't quite cracked it. I don't think he qualified uh, towards the back of the grid. He's had a couple of fifth place, place finishes in Buriram, but it, uh, it was a, a, a small field there, um, in which Aslan Shah and um, TJ Alberto didn't finish. Yeah, and we're, we're still, still waiting a, an, an update on the incident. As soon as we, we hear, 
we will advise that the red flag was called because of a, an incident on the track where one rider was left under his bike, but the, the bikes have now been cleared. But clearly, there's no way you could race with, with um, the track the way it was. No, especially in, in that place on the, uh, on the chicane. We're going to have a, a restart and we're going to be down to a 12 lap race. It was originally 18, so the restart will be a 12 lap race. Kazma Daniel will say, let's hope I can start a little bit better next time, or this coming time. He's making a habit of these um, jump starts, not jump starts, sorry. Um. Yeah, he is. He's going so well that we perhaps uh, forget that he's uh, new to this class, this superbike class. Uh, but he does need to get that start sorted out. He had a win in Sepang and a P4. Yeah, the win was uh, was widely celebrated. Of course, that was home race. He's a very popular rider. As we look there at uh, the thoughtful Zach Wan. We're going to be starting with the, the same grid. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. I wouldn't have expected anything else, to be honest. Sacran uh, trying to figure it out. I have to say, Des, he looked tired to me. I think um, Suzuka right now, you do need um, a few days of R&R &R to, uh, to, to recover from it, but yes. uh, that fatigue won't affect his performance. He's far too seasoned, far too professional, and far too protective of his championship lead to fall for that. So uh, there is the happy Haruki. <laughs> Even gets people to do his waving for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's all focus, it's all what did we do wrong earlier on? What can we do to make amends? We've seen Kazma, we've seen Zakwan, we've seen a very, very cheerful looking Haruki Noguchi. Yeah, happy riders usually go fast, don't they, Des? And that's, uh, that's Gary Salim. Who got off to a poor start. Didn't have a good qualification. No, he needs to uh, take a step in this class now. Five races into the season. Uh, he's getting a lot of support from the team and from his uh, teammate. And helping him along there. So we're on a red flag on the ASB 1000. We haven't heard yet when pit lane was open, but I'm guessing it's going to be uh, very soon because they've already decided that the new race will be 12 laps. And remember, the program was already pushed back by the wet race we had in the 250s, which was very, very slow. But how to stop this kid? How to, uh, he, he really, uh, Haruki Noguchi, he really has... Uh, we were impressed with him right the way from day one, how aggressive he was. We, he was maybe unlucky not to pick up a podium in, in the first race of the season. And the way he started out today was mighty impressive. OK, we're, we're at the Sugo International Circuit. It's looking splendid, but I, 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 the way that the rain came earlier on, I'm looking at the clouds above, but it's pretty, pretty good at the moment. In the distance, there's some glorious forests and hills and mountains. Um, we're on a break as we wait for the track to be cleared after an incident on lap four of the race. That means we're going to be starting with 12 laps to go. And we're still waiting for official confirmation on when the pit lane will be open. But when we do go, it'll be a 12-lap race. Just in the meantime, we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be back in just a short while. You're watching the Asia Road Racing Championships. Don't go too far away. When we come back, we've got a 12-lap sprint.
Welcome back to the Asia Road Racing Championships from Sugo in Japan. We've got a slight break at the moment because uh, a red flag was called on lap four of the uh, ASB 1000. The pit exit opens at 16.23, which is about 60 seconds away, if my watch is right. Um, and then we will have a 12-lap race uh, when we resume. Barry Russell alongside Des Corkill in the commentary box. And, and Barry, we've had a, a little bit of everything today. We've had five races, start off with the TVS one make, in which we had a, a local winner. We had a, a fabulous performance in the Underbone 150. The rain affected the AP250, another local winner with tears on the podium. And then the 600s um, went to, largely to plan. Uh, this one, well, a uh, red flag, so we've had a little bit of everything today. Yeah, we have indeed, and uh, frust a frustrating stop, I think, especially for Kazma, as we just uh, leave pit lane with him. Uh, and just looking at the riders in the pits can tell you something. Haruki Noguchi, uh, as we were saying off, off air, was uh, calm, relaxed, and I'm quite sure in his mind has already won this race. Kazma, though, doesn't believe that. And uh, he actually put in the fastest lap of the race. He did a 128 when he was uh, on that, uh, was it the second lap or third lap? And when he started to catch him. For the likes of Kazma and Zakwan, who was being swallowed up, and Apiwat and Anupab, this is a second chance, isn't it? Because Haruki Noguchi looked like he was so far clear. He looked like he was going to romp away. But now they've got a second chance to close him in. Yeah, Kazma was getting the measure of him. We don't know how that would have played out, but we'll have to see. And we'll also have to see whether Kazma can keep the front of his bike down this time. Yes, yes. It was such a fabulous start last time by Haruki Noguchi. If he can replicate that, it's danger signs for everybody else because it's down to a 12-lap sprint. Yeah, and Zakwan Zaidi was being pushed back. And if you were looking at a real-time championship, Standings that would have been uh, that would have not looked very uh, very happy for him. Yeah, Noguchi would be going to the top of the standings as it stands. Zakwan holds a four point, a tentative four point lead over Haruki Noguchi in the standings. But Noguchi has had a fourth in race one of the season, followed by third, followed by second. There is the man of the moment, Haruki Noguchi. He talks a good game, he looks confident, looks the part, starts well, produces results. What's not to love about him? He's, yeah, he is really the complete package as a racer. He's got the speed, he's got the confidence. Quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of swagger about him, actually. Great word, swagger. Mm. So, obviously, we will be restarting without the two who were responsible for the red flag. We haven't had a, an, an update on them. Uh, after Jiro Tanimoto. So there will be some gaps on the grid, but the front row remains the same. Correct. Sinichi Nakatomi was the, the other racer. My apologies, I was searching for him. Yeah, so slightly depleted grid. This is the quick start procedure. Scenarios? Will they? I know they. Then they're not in the racing, but the, the mental aspect of it. Will they, how do they prepare for something like this? I think as they get better and better, they focus more and more on uh, psychology, because that is what makes what makes the difference. You know, there are some really talented riders here, but when you look at Haruki with all that talent, and then you look at his confidence, and I'm going to use the word again, swagger that he that he carries. That's the difference. He knows he can win. Kazma being nice enough to carry the Opel camera for us. And the Bob and Apiwat, of course, they will want to make their statements. Rei Kashima had uh, made a, a decent start. Rei Toshima, sorry, had made a, a decent start. That's bike number 67. He's on P4 on the grid. Maeda as well. 
So the wild cards make it quite interesting because uh, Japan, they love their super bikes. They, they go really in for them. And five wild cards coming in, down to three for the restart. Yeah, and they do have real depth in the Japanese championship as well. That's why there's, there's so many riders that are here that are capable of getting, really getting amongst them in this uh, you know, international field of ARRC. So a little wiggle at the front there as he goes over the hill for... That is a spectacular man. shot, that. That really is yeah. a wonderful shot. Coming up over the hill. So Kazma, Poppy. see if he can get a better start this time. Yeah, you can see he's running a hard front there and uh, medium rear. Oh, OK, let's take a look. Yeah, OK. They've got a delay working in their favor on the grid, so let's see. Keep those tires warm. Time that stop, but just thinking about uh, tie warmers. So we can confirm, Happy Wat Wang Tanan is not allowed to start. Will not be joining in from the pit lane because it's uh, under red flag. Yeah, that's a sensible decision from race control. It's absolutely gutting for Happy Wat and uh, for those of us that wanted to see a good race, but uh, safety first every time. Well, we'll remember Sugo. Yeah, it all kicked off <laughs> on the first day. <laughs> and we've got another day to go. And boy, we're looking forward to that. Look at that, there's another one of those uh, standing camera shots. That's just gorgeous. Oh, now yeah. he was so focused before, now just looks so ah, life crestfallen good word <laughs> I knew there was one in there somewhere anyway the full arc of emotions yes it is indeed it's gone from uh, yeah the elation of a good performance yesterday and this morning to total Appointment now. Well, he's just got to get it out of his system, sort himself out tomorrow. Right. Take three. We had an original red flag incident after a, a crash on turn seven, I think it was. No, it was on the chicane, wasn't it? On the chicane. And then we had a, a 12 lap race not started because of a problem for Apiwat. Now we've got a 10-lap race coming. And they're going to need to be a little bit careful, Des, because they were sitting on the grid for a long time with no tyre warmers. Just, uh, just a note of caution there. Red lights. Take two. We are underway and another dream start for Haruki Noguchi. Wow, two in a row. That is just fabulous. And he dominated the earlier part of the race, and he's straight back into that groove. And uh, a repeat also from uh, Kazma, who's left himself in a worse position than last time. I think he's fourth or fifth. This is Kazma. He's behind um, Anupap, and he's certainly behind Zach Monzaidi. I think he's behind one of the, the wild cards as well. So he's left himself a lot of work to do over these 10 laps, but let's see how that goes as they all get through the first few turns safely. Well, what a fabulous start once again from Haruki Noguchi. This young Japanese really is taking the ARRC by storm. He's not leading the championship at the moment. He soon will be if he carries on like this. Bike 75, Kaisuke Maeda. He's uh, put himself ahead of Kazma Daniel. Kazma down in P5. Yeah, Kazma's got a lot of work to do now. Uh, whereas he was looking really good. He did clock the fastest lap in that brief stint we had before. Let's see now. Zakwan. Yeah, at least not let Richie get away from him this time. Although it will probably be a second or so. This time he's looking a little bit more competitive. As they come over the brow of the hill. It's 
look at the differential. It is seven. Point seven. So good getaway there for Zach Wan, and he's only got ten laps to get through, given uh, the fatigue that he's undoubtedly carrying from Suzuka. Baruki Noguchi was um, told by his team not to race at Suzuka because they wanted to keep him fresh for this ARC race. So you can, you can see how it makes sense. Your, your, your comments about Zach Wan, I, it does ring true. Zach Wan's in there in P2, but under pressure from Anupab. It's will favour Anupab too, because he's carrying um, an injury of sorts. He's got uh, an arm pump problem in his right arm. So if this race is 10 rather than uh, 15 laps, that will favour him too. Anupab putting the pressure on the back of Zach Wan's siding. And Yamaha on the back of the Honda. And Kazmodango's got himself back into P4. So he's beginning to redress some of the problems or some of the issues that resulted from his poor start. Once again, he did uh, an almost wheelie. Naruchi Naguchi this time. Not completely away. He's looking a little bit uh, more of the races. Soft compound tyre for that one. At the rear, and that will work well over the shorter race distance too. Nine. It's gone up just. Yeah, no, it's about the same, isn't it? 0.7. So Zachron is able to hold on. Lap times 129.3 to 129.4. Anupaba 129.3. So Anupaba is really turning up the heat. Kazma Daniel lapping quickly as well. He's just posted a 129.4. Yeah, Anupaba looks like he's seen an opportunity here. Uh, he's the remaining. Uh, Tai Yamaha, they're a strong team, very tight-knit. Uh, so he'll probably be feeling this responsibility. He knows he's only got a short distance, so hopefully that problem with his right arm won't bother him. Meanwhile, Kazma Daniel. There's a lot of work to do, though. It, it is a sprint. These are the 1,000cc. They, they lap this 3.6km uh, circuit very, very quickly. And the other factor here, of course, is that now... And Apab is bothering Zakwan in P2, that that could give Haruki Noguchi the time to stretch it, uh, the chance to stretch his lead. Which looks almost exactly what he is doing. You can see the two bikes from the early instant park by the shipping. So Haruki Noguchi, it was 0.7 at the end of lap one, point seven four at the end of lap two, at the end of lap three, one point zero. Wow. Wonderful performance this weekend from Haruki Noguchi. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, but Zakwan hasn't given up. Anupab hasn't given up. I don't, they're not holding each other, slowing each other down at the moment, I don't think. And Kazma Daniel is managing to get a little bit closer. He's getting on the back of Anupab. And all the while that that is going on behind them. Not that they're exactly racing, but... Uh, Haruki Noguchi is indeed extending his lead. Further down, Pasowit is having a problem. He's down in P12, Aslan Shah's overtaken him. Gary Salem is up to P7, Adam Noradin is up to P6. So the BMW might pick up some uh, bonus points today. Yeah, that's good to see. Zach Wan working hard to withstand the pressure for number 500, Anupar. But the man at the front is in a world of his own at the moment. He is. Uh, everyone else is relying on him making a mistake, and he just hasn't looked as though he's going to. Flinging the bike around, big bikes, these. That shoulder injury that we've uh, spoken about, that might come into play later on. Yes, it did, but that injury, along with uh, Zakwan's fatigue and uh, Anupab's injury, that might not be such a factor in this shortened race. And those are the injuries we're carrying, they're carrying that we know about. Because, of course, they don't show a whole lot of pain, these guys. Asma Daniel still trying to get on the back of Anupab. He has closed, though, completely up to the back of them. So it's now a three-way battle for P2. As they come up the hill, a little shift left, shift right. 
around the corner onto the long back straight. Yeah, another three tenths stretched out by Hiroki Noguchi on that previous lap as Anupab takes a look up the inside. And yeah, that's a three bike contest now for P2. And that board is sure to play into the hands of the race leader. Indeed, for Zakwan, he's probably looking at a, a P2. Forget about P1 now, unless there's a big mistake to protect what as many points as he possibly can get. He's had a, two P2s already this season, plus a win and a P4. If I recall, one was in a similar situation where we were expecting him to lose his P2 last time out at Sepang, but he was able to cling on and hold on. But he is under immense pressure. Hasma in the Yamaha on the tail of the Yamaha Anupab Salmon. Yamaha Time Racing. The gap between one and two is nearly two seconds now. The gap between two and four is, well, razor sharp. Kazma, Yamaha Gem Blue Racing Team Asian, P4. Behind them, we've got uh, Kasuki Maeda, Rei Tashima, Gary Salem, Yuki Ito. Aslan Shah, as expected, some way adrift. But at least he's out there and he will pick up some points. And he's lapping reasonably, 133. He's a second slower than the, the race leader, Haruki Noguchi. Yeah, it's good for him to be getting some laps in, especially some race laps. There's his teammate coming into shot now, Adam Noradin. In, uh, where is he now? Oh, he's out. Oh, that, so that was Aslan. Adam Noradin has crashed out. We didn't see that. So there is one BMW left. OK, the lead, though, for Haruki Noguchi is extended in this three-way battle between Zakwa, Manipov and Kazma Daniel. There's Adam Noradin, who crashed out. Oh, it doesn't look good for the legs, does it? No, that's another leg injury for, uh, for another one so it's BMW rider. That's really nothing, that's really nasty. What a great day for the, the Noradin brothers. I thought to go with them. Yeah, this is racing. And uh, how far back are we to uh, Kasuki? So I think might have his eyes on this battle. Uh, one second. So, there, there he is just coming into the shot now, Kasuke, P5. But that one second is closing. In the meantime, Aruki Noguchi has extended his lead to two and a half seconds. Four laps to go. We're over halfway of the restarted, restarted race. So, is that Grant holding on? He's looking with these two riders behind him a little bit like a cork in a bottle. But he has been able to hold on. Nobody's really made a move on him at any stage. He hasn't had to defend. He's just been clean. No soft compound tyres, though, that rear tyre. What's the degradation like? 10 laps, you'd hope it would hold on. I'm certainly hoping it would hold on for 15 laps. Yeah. Needs a P2, needs some points. And he hasn't really been torturing that bike. He's playing it pretty clever, Zakwan. Noguchi leads. Three laps to go for him. Zakwan, Anupar, Kazma. As it has been for the last four laps. Two, three, four. Kazma has a look on the inside of Anupar Samoon. Yamaha and Yamaha. Kazma Daniel, P2 in terms of qualification. He won't be too chuffed if he comes out of the top two. Work so hard in qualifications, give yourself a chance, and his poor starts have twice cost him. Yeah, they have. Yeah, last time in Sepang after that race win, race two, poor start, didn't really get a look in, but uh, and finished fourth, which is where he is at the moment. But I, I think the order is going to change in this group as we get into the final stages of this shortened race. These three have pulled away from Kaisuki as Anupab looks on the inside once again. Zakon holds his nerve, holds his line. Again, Anupab tries to accelerate through. Again, Zakon, that's my line. I've got the racing line. You've got to go 
either inside or outside of me. That seems to be the message. Yeah, and Kazma trying to sweep in wide and come out fast, but uh, but that didn't work. Let's look at the lines they take through the chicane. Through the chicane, nice and tight from Zakwan. And accelerating up the hill. Looking at the bone to get a bit of a toe. It doesn't quite seem to be the case here, although he is close enough on the back to maybe make a move. There is Anupab Samu, front wheel up in the air, but Zakwan able to hold on. Gosh, they're big beasts, these, <laughs> these 1000s. Yeah, and these riders are really going for it now. All three of them have got uh, a lot to gain. Two laps to go, well, one and a half laps to go for the race leader, Haruki Noguchi. We've hardly watched him because he's been so far out in front. He's not even in the shot. He's disappeared through the next corner. Yeah, he's more than three seconds away, so we probably wouldn't even see him if we looked up the back straight. Oh, well, there he is. Thank you. And there's the race behind him. Trying to join in off the back of that is Kazuki Mayuda. Probably not able to get there. And that looks a little bit better for Zakwan. It looks like he's been able to just ease a little bit of space, and unless Anupav's just um, saving it all up for the last lap. And Kazma is through. Indeed. So he's on Zakwan's tail now. So for all his pressure and aggression, Anupav didn't make it and got himself overtaken. And it's just dropping back a little bit. Kazma tries to go around the outside, looks for a different angle up the chicane. This is the penultimate time, it's the last chance, the only chance for Kazma Daniel to have a rehearsal. Anupab in P4 under pressure from Maeda. They zip up the hill once again, this time onto the last lap. Our well, race leader is already through. Zach Monzani and Kazma Daniel. Malaysians both, but highly competitive. Anupab Samu behind them. We often see Anupab sitting behind riders in the late stages, waiting to snap up any little morsels that come his way. But I think he'd really like to be uh, in front of this group. Zakwan, a little hint of an error, but he's managed to hold on to that. Kazma putting him under fearsome pressure. Zakwan is a cool customer. Just does he have the power? Is the tire, is the back tire going to hold out? Okay, so here is my, um, the race leader, Haruchi Noguchi, but Zakwan is able to hold on. Kazma Daniel needs to make a move now, or he's going to miss his opportunity. Zakwan, again, another tight little line. Fascinating battle. Zakwan has been under pressure for nearly all 10 of these laps but he's still been able to hold on to P2. And now they're coming into the chicane for the final time. Zakwan holds on, Kazma is there. This will be the big moment. Zakwan accelerates up the hill. Has Kazma Daniel got the opportunity? Kazma is looking for a drag. There's the race winner. Noguchi wins it. Behind them, up over the brow the hill, Zakwan! Brilliantly holds on against uh, Kazma Daniel. Noguchi was in a league of his own, but the bravery of Zakwam to hold off Kazma and Anupab really is noteworthy, Barry Russell. That's why Zakwam has collected so many championships in his career. It's uh, easy to forget that he's still uh, in his kind of, I think he's in his mid-20s, maybe Indeed. 26, 27. Yeah. A lot of experience, a lot of championships under his belt, and that is the kind of mental strength that he demonstrated then that has got him those championships. Ruki Noguchi, what a fantastic job by him. He's just having a look around. Does anybody want to congratulate me? Yes. Absolutely. He did a brilliant job. And Zakwan is going to be pleased with that. He has lost the championship lead. But, but only by a point. This is going right way down to the final race of the season, I feel. Hope so. Yeah, we do hope so. And uh, there could be some more players coming through too, but uh, it definitely looks like uh, like these two. Kazma didn't make it, but he did make the podium. And he could have done better, perhaps, if he had got his uh, start under control. So that's work in progress. And there is uh, the man who finished the wild card, best finisher, Kisuki. 
he's going to be happy with that, waving to the hand.